All right, with the recent updates to Office 365, a lot of people have been saying that stuff that's not spam is ending up in their spam folder or that they're just not getting stuff. So if you log into Office 365 online, go to Outlook in Office 365 and go into your junk mail folders. If you click on junk mail, you're going to see all these things. Possible spam, use caution, possible spam, use caution. So obviously not all of these things are spam. I mean, Chronicle of Higher Education, that's something that I read every day. So I want to make sure that this is you know, allowed. Also, Brian Alexander here, he's a guy that I follow. He's a educational technology guy and I want to keep up with whatever he has to say so I'm going to click on this email from Brian and over here on the right hand side you see you have the thumbs up the reply all and you have a little drop down if I click on the drop down right here I'm going to click on mark as not junk I'm going to tell um, Outlook hey this, this is totally not junk this is good stuff so I mark it as not junk and then it says hey report it as not junk I'm going to report it and now what's going to happen is that email is going to go back to my inbox. So when I come up to my inbox, you'll see, as I scroll through, where is he? There he is. There's the email from Brian Alexander. And there's really nothing else you need to do in here for that. Um, it'll just, you know, it knows like, okay, this guy is, is not sending me junk mail. Now, if you are using Outlook, Outlook, it's a little bit different, but it's still basically the same. Um, you can actually whitelist in Outlook. So if you've got the desktop application and you want to whitelist something, so here I've got this Chronicle of Higher Ed email in my possible spam use caution collection of stuff. So there's a couple of things that I can do. First, if I right click on it and I come down to junk, now I can do all sorts of different stuff. I can say never block sender's domain, which would mean anything that's sent to me from Chronicle would automatically go directly to my inbox. Or if I just want to make sure I get everything from just this address, I could say never block sender. So I do that. I click on never block sender. And now you'll notice it didn't move. This time when you're using the um, the actual program Outlook, it doesn't move it. So I have to drag it over. And I'm going to actually drag this to my non-critical folder because that's where I put stuff that's not, you know, doesn't require any attention from me at the moment. So again, here's one from the Online Learning Consortium. I right click on it. I come down here to junk and I say never block sender. And then I just drag it down into my non-critical folder or do with it whatever I need to do. So. Uh, if you have any questions about doing this, you're going to want to contact the IT Help Desk. That's tech-help at mccc.edu or give them a call at 844-505-8075.